Hey beauty markers, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be talking about the newest product in my makeup collection. It, it is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. I picked this up over a month ago and I've been wearing it non-stop. So I wanted to bring you all a video, a full depth review and a demo on how I applied the product. Now a little bit about the product. It claims to be a foundation and concealer in one, covers thoroughly with a lightweight feel, naturally flawless, look lasts all day for all over coverage or use to spot conceal and it's also oil free so a couple of things that drew me into the product was that it was oil free lightweight feel naturally flawless look that lasts all day I have oily skin I've said this time and time again on my channel I'm an oily grease monster it is a natural matte finish I think it goes on a little bit more matte than it settles I find that throughout the day as I'm wearing the foundation it becomes a little bit more demi matte a satin finish and I like that as well another great thing about Clinique is that it is allergy tested and 100 percent fragrance free they will test their product time and time and time again before they put it out to the public if anybody has a reaction to it they won't put that shit on the market i know i used to sell clinic products so if you have sensitive skin at all or if you're a bit eerie about chemicals that are in products then i would definitely suggest trying out not only the beyond perfecting foundation but the clinic brand in general the color that i am using is 26 amber now the color choice was a bit difficult for me this shade is a bit yellow and i'm not a big fan of that however in the demo that i'm going to see or in the demo that you'll see after this you'll see how i kind of combat that and make it work for my skin tone so outside of the color i was pretty pretty pleased with the formula the consistency and how it applied the packaging is great it's glass it's heavy so it just looks really nice and sleek definitely different than what you've seen from Clinique usually their products come in like a plastic container but this was really nice and I want to say they were the originators of the big dope foot applicator I know that the Tarte Shape Tape concealer has a similar applicator but if I'm not mistaken they were the first ones to do this and I absolutely love it so this is just a time saver so if you're in a rush if you're on your way to school to work score that's not if you're on your way to school or to work or interview or anything like that if you're in a bind then this is definitely something that you can use to apply very very fast now as far as price is concerned y'all know i like to beauty ball on a budget this is not a beauty ball on a budget item in the sense that it's drugstore however for it to be semi high end it's still reasonably reasonably gosh i can't talk today reasonably priced it's about the retail price is just $28. Obviously, you have to add tax to the life of motherfucking YouTube. My camera was full. I had to start everything over. But anyway, I think I was talking about price. It is not a beauty budget on a balling product for the drugstore. But for it to be semi-high-end, I think $28 is reasonably priced considering that like you have other foundations that are like over $60. So I definitely like the price on it all. So we're going to get into that live demo so you can see how I apply the product and what gives me the finish that you see right now. So the first thing I like to do before I apply the Clinique foundation is actually balance it out. The shade that I am using is called what is it called it is called 26 amber and while the shade does match well with me it's a little bit on the yellow tone so what I like to do is balance it out with a concealer first so I am using the LA Pro Girl concealer in the shade chestnut so I just like to take the product here and just apply it in certain areas I like to do around my nose and this shade is closer to my skin tone so when I apply the Clinique foundation over it balances it out it balances it out very well so I like to do under my nose and just kind of flare it out I also like to go along my jawline another thing that I've noticed uh, with doing this tip or a trick first is that it prevents me from overusing the first time I use the Clinique foundation I think I applied too much and it was really oily um so i like to do it these places and i also like to do on my forehead i'll go with my beauty blender and i'll just blend all of that out and then i'll go in with the clinique foundation and just apply it in all those other areas so just dart it all over i'll even go over some of the areas that I covered with the LA Pro Girl concealer, but that's about it. I don't do too much. 
Then I'll go back in with my beauty blender and I'll blend everything on out. I'm going to be using the Sephora Gel Serum, Brightening Gel Serum, Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer to conceal. I'm also going to be doing a review on this. I don't want to give too many of my thoughts on it right away. Um, I want to get a couple of more uses out of it. I'm just going to be applying this under my eye. My knuckles. You know, I like to do my chin area and blend it all out. And the reason why I'm showing you my highlighting and contouring routine because I definitely want to go into depth with how the Clinique foundation works with other products and I really like how it works with these with the LA Pro Girl Concealer. Two, couple dots, couple dots, some dots there. Blend out that contour. Gonna go in with the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. And I don't really bake anymore, I've noticed. I just kinda set it, so I'll go in and just press the powder on down. Press it in, press it in, press it in. And another thing I like to do with this foundation is set the whole face with the powder, cause it is translucent. So I'll just go under that contour that I did on my forehead. I know it looks crazy. Let's set that whole area. I'm not gonna go over the contour, just gonna go under it. Alright, so I'm gonna finish my face and I'll be right back with you. Overall, I love the foundation. I'm wearing it now. It definitely lives up to all of the claims that it has. It is oil free. The coverage is moderate to full coverage, so you can have something really light or you can build it up to make something a little bit more full coverage, which is great. I think it's a definite purchase. It is definitely one of my favorite foundations. I have been using the same foundation for like six months. So the fact that this is the first foundation that I purchased in six months and I actually love it, I'm very, very pleased. So if you get the chance to go out and purchase this product or get a sample, definitely, definitely do so. It is the Mark of Beauty approved. Thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all that good shit. As always, take your beauty, whatever it may be, and leave your mark on the world. Till next time. Bye.